Hi there, this is Joe. We will be able to watch the Bird Box camera on the Mac, PC computer, even the mobile app. So do you ever consider live stream the camera to YouTube? In order to live stream the camera to YouTube, we, we need to install the state OBS Studio in the Mac. So it's going to grab live stream from the camera and convert to a suitable video format so we can upload to the YouTube. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to grab the live, live stream from the camera and upload to YouTube step by step. Alright, now let's get started. In order to live stream the Bird Box camera to YouTube, uh, we need to install the OBS Studio in the Mac. Also, we have to set up the YouTube account. So now let's download the OBS Studio and install in the Mac. This is the official site, we can find the OBS Studio. After install, we will have the OBS icon. This is the interface of the OBS Studio. The first thing you need to do is add the live, catch the live stream from the camera to the OBS Studio. Here there's a button. There are two ways to add the IP Bird Box camera to the OBS Studio. We can either, either choose the media source or VLC video source. Here we are going to use the media source. And we name, name the stream. And we click OK. Here we uncheck the local file. And we got the input. This is the place where we can input the RTSP comment from the IP Bird Box camera. RTSP comment is the popular comment to get the stream from the IP camera. And this is the artist common from Green Bay yeah, IP Bird Box camera. Here, the first session is the IP address of the camera. The username is ADMIN and the password is empty. String equal zero. If we choose one, then this string will provide a substring because the, the camera can distribute two strings, one for the HD high definition, the other is the standard solution. So here we are going to using the HD resolution. Now we input here. Remember the changed IP address. And if you set the password, you, you need to put the password here. And click OK. Now we're getting a live from the camera. Okay, we can scale down the in the light to match the window. Then now we can go to the camera to configure the live stream because the the YouTube requests have some requirement for the stream from the camera. This is the software we can configure the camera. Now click the live. Here we can go to the config. You can see now the camera tech providing two streams. One is a three megapixel. The other one is, is a D1. So the frame per second is 10. You can switch to 25 for real time. All right. Oh, one thing it's very important now here is the H.264, 265. The YouTube only accept H.264. So we can change the resolution to 180p or 720p. Most of the case, the 720p is enough for YouTube. So we save. Now the, the camera will re reboot. Yes, we start. The camera will return. We may need to wait for a while. The o o OBSP is not going to reconnect, so we need to manually connect the camera again. First, we need to make sure that, okay. Now close. Now click OK. 
here you see in the left again all right now it's the time is the time clock is clocking so it's 700 p we also need to set configure the output from the OBSP. Here we find the video. Alright, we are using the 700p and the output. You can choose different resolution. It depends on your bandwidth. It's, if your bandwidth is, is not good enough, you can choose the low resolution bandwidth. Let's say we are going to using the so just keep the 700p okay now we are, we are going to configure the youtube account here we find the streaming click the link now it's going to redirect direct to the youtube page here we choose the go to live control room Now we can create a new life. IP per box camera. Testing so we keep it privacy, not public. Alright, we create string. Now this is the key we need. We copy the key. We can go back to the OBS. OBS. Replace. All right, that's the one. Click OK. Now click down. Then we we need to put, put, press this start streaming. Once we put the pre start and the OBS is going to uploading the string to our YouTube. Here we need to wait for a while before we can see the live. The reason we are experiencing so low con connections is because we are using a VPN. So you seem experiencing a lot of delay. Now we go back to check the live. Still, click. clock is still ticking. Now refresh. I'm trying to get the light from the camera. Alright, now we're seeing the light. Then if you want to publish with we click go to live. Now we are live. Alright, we copy the URL and we can view we can share the live to different places like the Facebook or your web page. Remember we just keep the life as priority so only the with this account it's going to view it live. You can set to the publish so for everybody to view. Now we're seeing the live. You can change the resolution to 700p. Now also the audio, my voice from the from the camera. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.